and welcome. In this video, I will be using three methods to solve for the area of a triangle with three examples. And we have our first example here. We are to find the area of triangle PQR. Okay, to solve for the area of this triangle, the formula I'm going to use is that which says the area of tri a triangle equals to half base times the height. All right, so now in this triangle, let's identify if we have the base and the height. Okay, so in any triangle where you have to find the, the area, the any side of the triangle can serve as the base. Okay, so in this case now, length QR will serve as our base. What about the height? The height of the triangle must always form, must be perpendicular to the base. So here now, our height is 5 centimeter. So we have our base to be 13 and we have the height to be 5. So what we need to do now is simply to substitute in these values into this formula. So we have the area equals 1 over 2 times the base, which is 13, times the height, which is 5. So now we have our area here equals 1 times 13 times 5 will give us 65 all over 2. So the area equals 65 divided by 2 will give us 32.5 centimeter square as the area of triangle PQR. We have our next example here and we are to calculate the area of triangle ABC. Now, this triangle is quite different from the previous one because we have an obtuse angle here. 155 degree unlike in the previous one in the previous example we have a height that is perpendicular to the base and is absent here so we're going to use a different formula to solve for the area of this triangle so before we use the formula let us identify the sides so if this angle a the side facing angle a would be a and we have angle B here. So this side facing angle B would be B and this side would be C. Now, this formula we are going to use would include the angle because we have an angle. So the area here now becomes, area of this triangle becomes 1 over 2 times the sides of the product of the adjacent sides. That is C and B. So BC, then sine A, that is this angle. This is the formula we are going to use. Now, we know our side B, we know our side C, and we know the given angle. So let us impute in the values. So our area equals 1 over 2 times, side B is 10.2, side C is 18.2. 0.5 and we have a sine angle which is sine 155 degree okay if we if you're using your calculator it's very easy to find sine 155 but if you are using your table of values it you can find sine 155 so the way to do that is this you know sine 155 is also equal to sine 155 degree is also equal to sine 180 degree minus 155 degree. So sine 155 is also equal to 180 minus 155. You have 25 degree. So sine 155 is also equal to sine 25 degree. So for the purpose of those that would want to use their four figure table, this is how to convert. So now our area equals 1 over 2 times 10.2 times 18.5 sine 25 degree. Now, the next thing we are going to do is to find the value of sine 25. 
using the sine table values or sine 155 degree using the calculator. I'm going to be using the table of values. So area equals 1 over 2 times 10.2 times 18.5 times the value for sine 25 is 0 0.4. Two two six. If you have followed me up to this point in this video, that means you are enjoying the lesson. And if you are not subscribed, kindly support me by subscribing to my channel. Put on your post notification so that when next I post any video, you will be the first to see it. Thank you. So ten point two times eighteen point five times zero point four two two six would give us. 79.7446 divided by 2. And if you divide 79.7446 by 2 and approximate to two decimal places, we have 39.87 centimeters square as the area of triangle ABC. To calculate for the area of triangle ABC, we are going to use a different formula, and that formula is called the Hero's formula. The formula is given as A equals the square root of S into S minus A into S minus B into S minus C. This is the formula that is called the Hero's formula. Okay, so A, B, and C represent the three sides of the triangle. So we can label this side facing angle C to be C, side facing angle A to be A, and this side facing angle B to be B. So these are the three sides of the triangle. Now, how do we find this S, which is also known as the semi-perimeter of the triangle? To do that, we simply sum the three sides and divide by 2. That is, we have S equals to A plus B plus C divided by 2. In this case now, A is 6, B is 8, and C is 10 divided by 2. 6 plus 8 is 14. 14 plus 10 is 24. So we have 24 divided by 2, and this gives us 12 as the value for our S. So now we are going to use substitute S and put 12. Now become A equal to the square root of 12 into 12 minus A is what? 6. Bracket open 12 minus the side B is 8. Bracket open 12 minus 10. Area now equals to the square root of 12, bracket, 12 minus 6 is 6, times 4, times 2. So the area equals the square root of 12, times 6 times 4 is 24, 24 times 2 is 48, 12 times 48. Area, therefore, now becomes the square root of 12 times 48 to give us 576. Okay, now we find the square root of 576 and area equal the square root of 576 is 24. Therefore, the area of this triangle is 24 meters square as the answer. I hope this video was helpful to you in learning how to find the area of a triangle with ease. If you did, please do not forget to leave me a comment. Like this video, share and subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye.